mute mute the other one completely. All right, hey everybody, good evening and welcome to Pioneer High School. Tonight we have the Pioneer Panthers taking on the Twin Lakes Indians. Right now we're in the first set of the JV matchup. We've got the uh, Pioneer TV and radio class kids here working. Got Madison on uh, production tonight. Aiden, right? Yep. Aiden is going to be helping out commentating tonight. Um, what's our cameraman's name? I can't hear him. Caden. Caden. Okay, Caden helping out on camera tonight. So the uh, the JV's got off to a nice start here, leading 8-2 in set number one. It's the last match for the uh, Panthers before they go into sectional play. Aiden, you guys are going to be over at Southwood for all three games, hopefully, if the Panthers keep winning next week. And I'm pretty sure they will. Well, we're sure hoping they will because uh, we've already got everything signed up and ready to go for the uh, broadcast. So looking forward to it and uh, looking forward to uh, you guys continuing to uh, grow in your abilities. And Madison's been doing a lot of uh, neat stuff with the production for us. She's... She fought through some internet issues on Friday. Um, that was a little tough there for her, I know. It was a little frustrating for me from, you know, where I was at on Friday. And So that one's going to drop in for a point for Pioneer. Back to serve is number 22, Kirsten Nyes. So we got a lot of stuff going on if you're a multi multitasker and you want to put on several different TVs. Tonight would be the night. If you like volleyball, tonight's definitely your night. We've got a Rochester hosting Whitco up at Rochester High School. That's just getting underway. We've got Caston hosting Lakeland Christian up at Caston. That's just getting underway. Uh, Winnemac is going to be hosting... Uh, Logan Sport, so a battle of uh, the sisters there, the, the coaches for uh, Winnemac and Logan Sport are sisters. Haley Tumine for Logan and Heather Caston, the head coach at Winnemac. And then a big one in uh, TRC action coming up uh, soon. Oh, it looks like they just got going. The uh, Tippecanoe Valley Vikings hosting Southwood. Valley has one loss on the conference season, and Southwood is undefeated. So if Valley can win uh, against Southwood tonight, they will have a, a three-way tie, assuming that Wabash can beat Peru between Wabash, Southwood, and Valley. So we have a, uh, a timeout here, 13-4 for the Panthers here early in set one. What do you think? So,
Good. All right. That one's going to drop short. So it'll be the Indians serve. Pioneer leading 17-8. Back to serve for Twin Lakes is number 11, Madison Stengel, a freshman. Hmm. That one looked like it was off the tape. I don't know. They said Pioneer must have touched it. And that one's going to go long. So what they did there, Aiden Pioneer actually got called for being in the net. You can't go into the net. So now it's going to be Twin Lakes with the serve. So Stengel's going to get another opportunity here. And that's going to go off a of Rance out of bounds. So a little bit of a run here for the Indians. And that's going to go out. So Pioneer will get the serve back. A couple subs coming in for the Panthers. Newby is going to come in for Nyes. And Blair Grigsby is going to come in. And she will have the serve. Grigsby came in for Brenner McLean. And that's going to drop. Point for the Panthers. Nice play there by Cameron Newby. Grigsby stays on the service line. Panthers lead 19-10 here in set number one of the JV match. And an ace. going to drop in. Rance with the kill. Makes it 21-10. And another ace for Grigsby. This JV team has had a really good season. I think they've only lost one match. And beyond those two sets in that one match, they've only lost, I believe, one set all season long. And Grigsby with another ace. So two in a row makes it 23-10 for the Panthers. Trying to close out set number one. And that was going to go wide. So set point here for Pioneer, 24-10. Jump serve, ace. And the Panthers win it, 25-10 here in set number one. We're going to take a break and come back for set number two with the JV matchup here in right, just a moment. Welcome back here as we move into set number two. The Panthers took set number one. Final score was 25-10 in that one. This is still the JV matchup. Starting things off here for Twin Lakes is going to be number seven, Emma Pimple, a sophomore, will be serving first for the Indians. And Adinger off the block and down. Gives the Panthers the point. Blair Grigsby will be back to serve. And that one is an overpass, and it goes down, though, in front of Newby for a point for Twin Lakes. 
And back to serve is number 12, Jesse Alexander, a junior. Lane with the serve, and that's going to be long. Evens it up at two. So it'll be Twin Lakes serve. Going back to serve will be number 13, Jasmine West. And West with an ace. Gonna be long from Rance. Twin Lakes here with the lead 4 2. And Adinger puts that one home. Serve back over to the Panthers. Adinger will go back to serve it for Pioneer. And an ace. Evens it up at four. say it looked like it might have been tipped but it apparently just out of bounds Chloe Chan will come in number three Tyler Burns with an Number 22, Kirsten Nyes with the serve. Twin Lakes isn't letting anything hit the floor. They're doing a good job right there. Yeah. 
Lucas tips it over. And finally, Rance gets the tip to go down. That was a hard-earned point for the Panthers. Makes it 9-5. And Grigsby puts it home. So after a slow start here in the second set, the Panthers have taken a 10-5 lead. And uh, that one long for Nyes. Give the serve back over to Twin Lakes. Kinsey Biddle with the serve. And that one off of the net. Point for Twin Lakes. And that one goes down for Panther Point. Gives the Panthers the serve. Rance back to serve for Pioneer. And that one drops in, another ace for Rance. Makes it 13-7 in favor of the Panthers. Been a little long that time for Rance. Stangle back to serve for Twin Lakes. Big hit there by Nyes. Puts it just inside the baseline. 14-8. Adams are going to come in for Chloe Chan. And Twin Lakes is going to call a timeout. Last home game of the season here for the Pioneer Panthers before they take off to Southwood for sectional play. They will start off next Thursday night at Southwood taking on Lakeland Christian Academy in round one. If they would win round one, they would take on Northfield in the semifinal match in on uh, Saturday morning with the championship match coming at 7 Saturday night. Of course, the Panthers, 15 straight sectional championships, looking for number 16 for Coach Rod Nyes. Of course, they are the defending 1A state champions. So trying to close out a good season here and get back into some postseason action next week. Chloe Lucas on the serve for the Panthers. It's going to be hit long by Twin Lakes. Oh, nice serve. Ace for Lucas. That 
time into the net. Serve goes back over to Twin Lakes. Going back is Emma Pample to serve for the Indians. the line cross quarter good for Blair Grigsby makes it 18 10 Grigsby back to serve Puts that one down. And Stricker comes in and she will be serving with the Panthers leading 20 to 10. And long on that one is Newby. Back to serve is Alexander. Her serve goes into the net. Kelly Jamerson comes in for Brenner McLean, and she will go back to serve for the Panthers. <laughs> oh, she gets it off the tape and down for an ace. You're too young to know this, Aiden, but that used to be illegal if you hit the net on a serve. But that is a dangerous play as far as... You know, you can't really make it do that, but if it does, it's going to be hard for the defense to do much with it because they're expecting it to go much longer. Another ace for Jamerson makes it 23-10. Panthers trying to close this one out in two sets. And that's another ace. Match point for the Panthers. We're going to leave it here after this because senior night, is going to be coming up, so we'll keep it here. We've got uh, five seniors. I thought there was only four, but there's five. Kennedy Korn, Haley Kripe, Carly Morris, Emma Novoski, and Mackenzie Robinson going to celebrate their careers, what careers they've had. Just a, an amazing, amazing group of young ladies, and they've uh, they've done a little bit of everything in their career here at Pioneer. And that one's going to drop in, and that's going to do it. Addie Kreit puts it down for 25-12. So Pioneer wins 25-10, 25-12 to take the JV matchup. And we're going to keep it here and uh, get the senior night festivities, and then we'll uh, take a break as the warm-ups for varsity. All right, and now we are ready for senior nights. Thank you for your patience. First up, Carly Ann Morris. Carly's escorted by Ryan Carly Morris. She made it about Carly for playing back to high school in the 10th all-state major in architecture. Her favorite volleyball memory is playing Ken Atlanta. 
welcome to that contest between Swiss Lakes and Pioneer. Let's meet the starters and line up for each team. Let's meet the visitors on the scoreboard of Swiss Lakes. Lady Indians, first non-starter. Number three, speaking of Melkai. Number five, Avery Darling. Number eight, Taylor Burns. contest the Panthers last match of the regular season before they go into sectional play Panthers come in at 19 and 11 and they came off of a uh, tough loss the other night in three sets to a very very good Benton Central team over in Oxford who's your North Conference champions again this year 7 and 0 in conference Twin Lakes comes in at 9 and 13 2 and 4 in the Hoosier Conference Aiden joins me tonight. We've got uh, Madison and what the camera guy? What was his name again, Aiden? What name? You don't remember either. Okay. We're bad with names. What's your name? Caden. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. Caden. I'm bad with names. I'm getting old. What's your excuse? I too young. Too young. <laughs> so Aiden's going to be helping out here tonight. and uh, Feel free to jump in there with uh, any commentary you want. I'll, I'll help you along and we'll get this, uh, get this going. Getting underway here. Number 10, Emma Need going to get things started for Twin Lakes. Yeah, it looked like it might have been tipped, but they're going to say that it uh, went off of the net and out. So Need gets another serve, and this one goes long. So Rogers will start things off here for the Panthers. Senior night here, recognize the seniors. We got an in the net call on Pioneer. So number nine, Emma Pample is gonna check in and serve for the Indians. Right 
It's a little long on that one. So an early 3-1 lead here for Twin Lakes. Campbell to send it across. And that's a double hit called on the Panthers. And along on the serve, so a couple service errors. Both of the Panthers' points have came on Twin Lakes' service errors. Kennedy Korn, one of the five seniors, back to serve. And her serve is wide, so a service error for the Panthers. Lena Wolf with the serve for Twin Lakes. Guess you're going to say that was tipped over. That one went on this side of the antenna, so if they go on the the outside of the antenna, it's automatically out of bounds. Haley Kripe back to serve for the Panthers. And that's an ace for the senior. A couple things, a senior night tonight, and also uh, you can see the Panthers wearing their pink uniforms, breast cancer awareness uh, tonight as well. They're raising money for local families who have loved ones that are struggling with breast cancer. That's going to go off of the tip and out of bounds. Point for Pioneer, evening up. Even in it up. Easy for me to say, right? Yeah. At five. Sometimes my brain works faster than my mouth does. Cripe with the ace. Into the net. Back over to Twin Lakes. Jaylee Mar... Mol oh boy. Marmoljo. Molajo. Marmolajo. I apologize. Marmolajo. What do you think? Pretty sure that's all right. Yeah? A sophomore with the serve. And Morris back to serve. Another one of the five seniors here for the Panthers. And Morris a little long on that one. Metcalf. Isery Metcalf. Serving for Twin Lakes. Nice serve. Wow. Just a little thing, but she really had some power behind that, didn't she? She can't be five foot tall, but she sure can serve the ball. Left hand from Rogers. Oh, a little uh, miscommunication there between Rogers and her hitters. Ball drops, makes it 9 7. Metcalf still with the serve for Twin Lakes. Another 
good serve from Metcalf. And Weisenberger puts it home off of Metcalf. And he's been hitting the ball really well all season long for the Panthers. And another senior back to serve, Robinson. A little floater. Good job. Metcalf gets it over. So Robinson trying to catch him off guard with a little short floater serve, but Metcalf was there. Able to get it across. Maddie Putnam serving for Twin Lakes. And that one from Korn off of the block and down. In for Pioneer is another one of the seniors, Emma Navoski. She will go back to serve. Right, good dig there by Twin Lakes. And Kripe with the kill. Metcalf tried to dig but couldn't get it. Panthers to within one. Navoski, ace, evens it at 11. Cry, cross quarter, puts down the kill. Panthers back in front, Corn with the block on passes shot. Five straight for Novoski, 14 11 for the Panthers. Robinson has to come back from the back row after getting that good dig, get that ball across. Can't get it that time though, and the kill for Twin Lakes. I think that was pass with the kill for the Indians. Back to serve is Emma Need, a junior for Twin Lakes. Cripe. Oh, I guess they hit the antenna. Robinson with a nice dig on that play. Keeps the ball alive. And Cride goes cross court and gets it down in front of Wolf. Serve back over to the Panthers. Rogers back to serve. And she gets it in. Sneaks it in on the corner there. 
An ace for Rogers. Down off of the block, Campbell with the kill for the Twin Lakes Indians. Number nine, number five, Pample Darlin. checks in, and she will serve. Avery Darling, Darlin also checks in. And that one wide for Kripe. Good serve, drove Robinson back to the end line and that shot by Morris is into the net. And we are evened up at 16. Pample sends it across. Right with the block. Nice hit there by Finn, and that's going to drop. Finn kept that alive. Good angle shot, able to keep that in. And the Indians back in front, 17-16. We're going to keep it here. Take a look around at the volleyball going on in the RTC uh, family of networks tonight, Rochester and Whitco. Whitco looks like they took set number one. They're getting ready for second set there. At Caston, the Comets taking on Lakeland Christian, team that the Panthers will see coming up on Thursday in the first round of the sectional at Southwood, and the Comets lead 22-10 in set one there. Tiffany Valley and Southwood has not tipped yet from Valley and Winnemac leads Logan Sport 10-8 in set number one. And that timeout, Pample goes way long after the Pioneer timeout, evens it at 17. Kennedy Korn back to serve for the Panthers. And that shot's gonna go long. Panthers back in front, 18-17, Horn with the serve. And the ace from Korn. No, oh, just off the top of the tape and down. Serve goes back over to Twin Lakes. Elena, Elena Wolf back to serve for Twin Lakes. Oh, she serves up an ace. That one dropped in a hurry once it crossed the net. Square at 19. Well, they able to get that up enough for Novoski to get. Yeah. 
And down, Kripe off the tip. Weisenberger comes back in. Kripe will have the serve with the Panthers leading by one. And off to the tape. Service error, Panthers couple in a row there. Back to serve is Jaylee Marmo. What did we call her? What did we say? Marmo. I'm not completely sure on that. Let's call her Jaylee. <laughs> I'm sorry. I don't I don't want to mispronounce it. it it's a Marmo Marmo Loji. Lojo. Marmo Lo yeah. Jaylee. And that one down. Gorgeous. Good to see her back in. She was out for a few games there with an ankle injury, so first game I've had that uh, I've seen her back, so good to see her back in the lineup. Putnam with a big hit. Another joust at the net. One by the Panthers. Weisenberger off the block or off the dig attempt that time by Pample. Just tries to cross quarter, but she goes wide. Back over to Twin Lakes, the knotted at 22. And that time the shot goes long for Metcalf. That makes it 24-22, so set point for the Panthers. Robinson with the serve. Off the block and down, the kill for Putnam. Keeps Twin Lakes alive. And she will go back and serve. Horn with the tip across. Off the block. Oh, they're going to say it was off the tape. Four hits, Twin Lakes. Panthers take set one, 25-23. We'll take a break and come back with set number two here from Pioneer High School in just a moment. All right, back here at Pioneer High School, moving into set number two of the varsity contest. This is the... Last contest of the regular season for the Panthers. They will be moving on to take on Lakeland Christian Academy on Thursday night next week, week from tonight, at Southwood High School. And if they win that one, they'll take on Northfield in the semifinal round on Saturday morning. Championship game would be Saturday night, all from Southwood. Griggsby going to start off set number two for the Panthers from the service line. A 
And Borges, big hit, but a little long for the sophomore. That was a big swing, though. I'd like to see that from Borges. You can jump in anytime you like there, Aiden. Emma Pample with the serve. So that one was on, did you see that? On the outside of the antenna as it came across. So that's immediately out of bounds. Try, big swing, a little long. Good start here for Twin Lakes. Grigsby goes over into the scorer's bench to get that one. And they're going to say in the, over the net by Twin Lakes. So you got in the net and then you got over the net. So you can't do either. Robinson to serve for the Panthers. And that swing by pass is long. We call it a double hit on Twin Lakes. Got five. The volleyball matches going on right now live on RTC TV4's family networks. Rochester and Whitco, Cast and Lakeland Christian, this one here, Valley and Southwood, and Winnemac hosting Logan Sport tonight. So if you if you enjoy volleyball and you got uh, a bunch of different TV screens, you can have them all up and running. A little variety on the TV tonight. Couple games coming up on RTC4 tomorrow night with uh, football. I will be in Culver as the Cavaliers will be hosting your Pioneer Panthers in a Hoosier North Conference matchup. And another conference game, Winnemac will be hosting the Caston Comets. Coming out of bounds, Panthers in front, 6 3. Timeout called by Coach. Anicia Need of Twin Lakes. We're going to talk it over here with the Panthers leading 6 3 in set two. Saturday afternoon, we're going to have a soccer uh, doubleheader for you at 2 o'clock. We will be at Caston for the 1A Boys Soccer Sectional. The Comets advanced, defeating uh, Culver. The Winnemac Warriors advanced, defeating um, North Miami. And it's a rematch of the conference championship played between those two last week in which the Winnemac Warriors won 1-0. And then coming up Saturday night at 7 from Argus, we'll have the girls 1A soccer sectional. Argus Dragons advanced, winning earlier this evening 7-0 over... Culver, and they'll take on either LaVille or Bremen. That uh, semifinal round game going on uh, probably right now, actually. And that one into the net from Darlin. And Robinson into the net. 
Service error, Panthers. Elena Wolf will be serving. Off the block. Good play there for the Panthers. That was an interesting substitution sequence. There was a uh, Four different Panthers that came up at once. Ended up Kennedy Corn and Caitlin Weldy came in. Bright finds the corner. Down. Haley Kripe finding her rhythm here in set two. Oh, I love this score. It's the trucker score. 10 4. Lake struggling there on that one. Not able to get it out of the uh, spot right there in the paint on the free throw line. Want to be on the free throw line there if you're shooting baskets, but not necessarily if you're trying to get the ball across in volleyball. Rogers, nice job on that set, staying out of the net. And that one is mishit by Finn. Eleven four Panthers. Rogers to serve. And an ace. For Rogers. Jaylee comes in. She'll have the serve for Twin Lakes. Weldy with a great dig there for the Panthers. Oh, that wasn't a lift. Hmm. Cripe and not able to get it in there on the side. Daly with another serve. Might have been going long. Robinson gets it over, overpassed by Twin Lakes. Kripe cross quarter. That was a nice dig that time by Wolf, but not able to get it back across. Weisenberger in for Weldy. Kripe back to serve.
Cross quarter goes wide that time for Need. Oh, nice tip over Need that time. Caught the Panthers off guard, drops it down for a point for the Indians. Metcalf comes in and will serve for Twin Lakes. comes in and puts down the kill. Didn't see her check in. Freshman daughter of Coach Rod Nyes. And she has the serve. One of the better servers on the team as a freshman. That's going to drop down in front of Kripe. Oh, there might have been a little skin left on the floor on that dive, on that uh, dig attempt, that cripe. Serving is Maddie Putman. Big kill by the junior. Navoski in and will serve for the Panthers leading 17-8 here in set number two. And an ace for Navoski, a senior with an ace on senior night. Ball goes wide for Twin Lakes. After a slow start here in set number two, the Panthers have opened up an 11 point lead. Nice serve from Novoski. Off the block and down the kill for pass. And the need will be serving. Gorgeous. Puts that one home. Rigsby in and serving for the Panthers. That one long.
Grigsby with the ace. 22-9. Pass shot blocked. And that one finds the corner. Rogers able to put that one home. Right, and she finds the side. Set point for the Panthers. 24-9. And that'll do it. Set two goes to Pioneer, 25-9. They lead two sets to zero as we move into the third here at Pioneer High School. Be back in just a moment on Pioneer TV. Welcome back to the varsity volleyball game. The, we had some tech, technical difficulties and the score is zero to one. Rogers. Rogers with the kill on that one. Grig Grigsby will be serving. Ace. Grigsby with the ace. Grigsby gets another ace. Pass on the uh, kill for Twin Lakes. Number 15. He's had a nice night. Emma Pampo will be serving. Robinson is serving. Good job there by the Panthers keeping that one alive. Nice, puts that one home, the freshman with the kill. Ball across. Cripe. Good dig there by Twin Lakes.
Dodgers with the kill. 7-2 here in set number three. Time out here, 8-2, set number three. Twin Lakes wants to talk it over. Let's take a look around the area, what's going on. Rochester has evened it up at one set apiece and leads 16-5 in set number three against Whitco. Caston with a 19-9 lead in set number three and a two sets to zero lead over Pioneers. First round sectional opponent, Lakeland Christian. And it is Southwood with a one set to zero lead over Tippecanoe Valley, and they lead at six to two in set number two. That's a big, big matchup. Southwood trying to get the TRC to themselves. Valley trying to make a uh, at least two-way tie at the top if they can knock off the Knights. Southwood a possible opponent for uh, Pioneer in the championship match on Saturday the 19th at Southwood. Logan Sport has evened it up up at Winnemac 25-12 in set two. It's tied one set apiece. In the battle of the sisters. puts it home. serving. Putman drops it down for Twin Lakes. Trucker score again. 10 4. <laughs> Cripe off the block and down. Big swing by the senior. hits on Twin Lakes.
Off the tape, unfortunately doesn't fall on the right side for the Panthers. Jaylee will be serving for Twin Lakes. Not gonna give it a shot. You're, you're not any braver than I am. We tried, I guess. Her last name is a little tough. I apologize that uh, I'm not able to properly pronounce it. Haley Kripe is serving for the Panthers. <laughs> I just like to be on the other side of that. That was a wicked serve. Free ball out of bounds. And a timeout by Twin Lakes. Ten point advantage here in set number three for the Panthers. Hits it in the net. Matt Calf is serving for the Corn Lakes. Tip over there by Twin Lakes. I didn't see who hit that, but uh, got Robinson going the wrong way from the net. And that calf hits it into the net. Klein will be serving for the Panthers. And Klein gets an ace. That was kind of a neat play there. I don't know if you saw Kennedy Corn, but the whole play was kind of going on around her. She was just kind of hunched down, looking up, and waiting for the ball to get hit over. It was. Bit of a ding dong there by the Panthers, kind of let that one drop. Serving for Twin Lakes is Maddie Putman.
Well, they're going to say that was tipped. Didn't really see that, did you? Mm -mm. Nope. Edinger will be serving for Panthers. Gorgeous. Nice to see her back and hitting the ball well. And Haley Kripe, the senior standing ovation coming out of the game 20 to eight here in set number three. Okay, we'll say it was a standing ovation. You can't see the crowd. It was more of a moment for me than it was for the crowd. They're kind of all the work that Haley Kripe has put in over the years here at Pioneer is pretty amazing. Eisenberger puts that one home with authority. side of the antenna going back over to Pioneer but uh, they didn't get the call. Metcalf fits it into the net. He is serving for the Pioneer Panthers. Nice dig by Chloe Chan. serving for the Twin Lakes. Robinson will be serving for the Pioneer Panthers. <laughs> Elena Wolf it will be serving for the Twin Lakes.
Rodgers is going to be serving for match point for the Panthers. Nice cross quarter there by Putnam. Putman. Number 14, Jay Lee will be serving for Twin Lakes. Still match point here, 24-14. Call a double hit on Adinger. Match point number three coming up here for the Panthers. Point number four, the Panthers close out the Twin Lakes Indians 25-16. Take the match in three, so good uh, job there by the Panthers closing out the regular season with a win. They'll move to 20 and 11 on the season. Nine, nine and 14 is the way Twin Lakes will end their season. What do you think, Aiden? It's fun coming out here and watching the game. We'll get uh, you'll get more used to it. You'll get you know into that rhythm. The, the nerves will go away. You know as the the match went on, you you got a little bit freer with it. And we'll get you in the uh, studio with a headset on and let you call some games on the the computer. Get you ready for uh, sectional time next week. So, well, Madison. Good job as usual, we appreciate it. So we're gonna wrap it up here from Pioneer. Thanks for tuning in, Pioneer TV.